studies show that nearly 80% of all men will experience a serious mental health issue in their life, but 50% of men say they feel embarrassed to open up about their mental health. With so many men struggling and so few of them asking for help, it's important we take preventative measures. My next guest will tell us how best to support the men in our life because he believes women have the power to make a difference. I'm with Jason Davies. Jason, we know that the suicide rates among men are high. You say an estimated 700,000 men die worldwide to suicide every year. That's astounding, but why is that so high? Yeah. As men, we don't talk about how we're feeling very well. Rarely do we truly bring it all out. And so it gets to a point uh, mentally where that's the option that we think is best. Mm -hmm. And that's the direction that we take. Mm -hmm. So wh what is it that men worry about most often? Oh gosh, uh, some of the top ones across the board, especially in my life as well, and from all the conversations I've had with men, mm -hmm. it's finances or money, mm -hmm. it's being the best provider they can be, being the best husband, father, son, brother, uh, living up to those expectations in our lives for others. Uh, and then also work or career related as well. It's almost this invisible weight that they feel. And, and as, a, as a wife and as a mother of two boys, mm. how can we better support the men in our lives? How can we better support their mental health? First, you say, keep trying. Yeah. At first, if you don't succeed, try, try again. Mm -hmm. Especially with, uh, in my life, my wife is an incredible, has done an incredible job with, if she can tell I'm in a headspace of anxiety or uh, stress or frustration and things, and she'll, she'll ask, hey, how are you doing? Hey, mm -hmm. do you want to get something off your chest? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, nope. You know, <laughs> the first try, nope. Second try, maybe, and then third or fourth. I just know that even if the men in your life don't say so, that they appreciate it, mm -hmm. I know that they will. It's that persistence. It's also noticing, mm -hmm. being aware, Absolutely. having those conversations, but keep trying. Next, you help, you say, help them see their value. Absolutely. We uh, tie ourselves to being a provider, mm -hmm. and we tie ourselves to having that value add for our family and for our children, for those around us. What happens if I lose my job? Where do I think my value is now? It's, it's almost gone. Mm -hmm. And so let the men in your life know that, hey, if they lose the job, yes, that could come back later on. That, that income can come back. But you as a person, you matter so much more to me in my life because. You're almost tying their value to something more than worldly things. Absolutely. You're tying their value to the things that matter in the heart. Yes. Um, going back to being a noticer, watch for changes. Tell us why. Yeah, uh, it's interesting. I, I threw out a poll a couple months ago of, hey, what are some of the changes that you notice with the men in your life when they're feeling stressed, anxious, depressed, all these different feelings that they're not verbalizing? Mm -hmm. um, and across the board, there were answers of, I noticed this or I noticed this, these slight little changes. Some are big, some are small. Just noticing the changes that happen and say, hey, I think he's got a lot going on down in there, and how can I help be a release to him somehow? Now this next one, I think we do this a lot with our children, and we, as women, I think we're trying to focus more on giving those words of affirmation, but you want us to channel, channel them into the men in our lives. Yeah, so give it a try. T just the, the love is in the details. Mm. Hey, you look handsome today. Mm. Hey, I love the shoes. Hey, I love your, your shirt you're wearing for this meeting. Hey, thank you so much for doing this. Just these little things, they don't have to be big at all. And watch him. Watch how he changes real quick. And, it's, and we are sometimes not used to receiving those. And it, it's, it's this just quick little pickup for us to know that we are appreciated and loved. Uh, and we, we know that, but it's just a nice little, ah, uh, yeah, good. To hear it is something so different. I think when we think it internally and then your fears are spoken out loud, it's scary, right? But when it's the opposite, yeah. right? Like sometimes you don't always think the best things about yourself, but when someone speaks it out into you, they yeah. put it out into the world, it makes you believe it. 
Totally. I think the power in the words of affirmation is strong. Next you say, trust him. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> this is in the context of you can have both sides of him, almost like two sides of the coin. You can have the strong, capable, secure man, but you can also have someone who would, needs to open up and talk about how, he's, how he is feeling, his stress and his worries, his uh, anxieties and, and things that are weighing him down that he has never felt like he could talk about before. Trust that he is going to still be that man that you need him to be. And that trust it comes back to love too, right? Absolutely. When you yes, share the trust, it, it brings in the love and then it's this circle of, yeah. I trust you, I'm validating you, I'm mm -hmm. loving you. And I think as women, we love this and I think we're more vocal about it. So yeah. what you're saying about men yeah. needing it too, but maybe not asking for it. Oh, absolutely. Maybe we're not yeah. asking for it. Maybe mm -hmm. we're not showing it externally. Maybe we're not, you know, begging for help, but these things matter. They matter to us, they matter to the men in our lives. You're saying this is what brings it all into this mental health awareness. Absolutely. Lastly, you want us to remember that it could have nothing to do with us. This is interesting to me. Sometimes you make it about us. You're saying it's not about us. <laughs> no, so here's the thing. In my own personal experiences, uh, in my life, when I was at my lowest, when I had my mental breakdown and my world crumbled. Mm -hmm. It had nothing to do with my wife. Little to do with her. And it had everything to do with what was going on with me. And she was the person who I needed, who I hope I could be for her. Mm. And it was such a, a, she was the rock and she was, she was the leader and she was everything that I couldn't be in that time. Mm -hmm. And it had nothing to do with what she had done. And so I, I tie it back to just know that the women in our lives are so powerful for such a good force for us. Powerful words, powerful topic. Jason, thank you for sharing your vulnerabilities yeah. with us. Thank you for enlightening us. Where can we connect more with you? So best way right now currently is, is just social media. You know, Instagram is Jason's, Jason Men's Mental Health is the Instagram and there's different links that kind of put you out to different ways, but that's the easiest one. Great, thank you so much. We can't wait to hear more from you. Thank you.